of any of the last four recoveries. Um, and we're also seeing that in terms of the strength of uh, household balance sheets as well. Uh, savings is up, uh, debt is down, bankruptcy filings uh, remain near pre-pandemic lows. All of these are sources of economic strength from which we can now focus on uh, bringing prices down. The third point, uh, this was an important piece of this, which is that more states are offering new stimulus checks to the residents. $500 crisis aid payments are finally being mailed out. Top Democrats, including Nancy Pelosi, are pushing for President Biden to send out federal inflation relief payments. So be sure to watch until the end of the video to find out how to receive the stimulus check. New Mexico residents will finally start to see relief payments in their bank accounts and mailboxes. The governor announced the first round of payments will be sent this month. State officials say taxpayers who filed individual tax returns will see $250 and those who filed jointly or as head of households will see $500. There is no income limit for those receiving the first and third rebates. Those who file a tax return do not need to do anything to receive their payment. Payments will come in the form of a direct deposit or by check, whichever was chosen on your tax return. But those who did not file a tax return will need to visit a state human services department to apply for the relief payments. And there are two more rounds of payments coming from New Mexico residents, one in July and one in August. There is an income limit for July payments and thousands of low-income residents in Chicago have also moved one step closer to receiving free gas cards from the city. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot's proposed Chicago Moves plan has finally received approval from the city council and the budget committee. This paves the way for the mayor's gas card plan to get a vote from the full city council. Mayor Lightfoot had to tweak her original Chicago Moves plan in order for it to be considered for a vote. The revised ordinance will be allocated for the $12.5 million gas card lottery for residents of the city's residents. The ordinance calls for distributing up to 100,000 prepaid transit cards and up to 50,000 prepaid gas cards. But the mayor's proposal did not receive overwhelming support from the budget committee. It passed by a vote of 15 to 12. Some officials who voted yes said they did so reluctantly. Progressive lawmakers would like to see President Biden also cancel student loan debts before November's midterm elections. The White House's latest plans calls for limiting debt forgiveness to Americans who earned less than 150 grand in the previous year, or less than $300,000 for married couples filing jointly. Two of the people said it was unclear whether the Biden administration will simultaneously require interest and payments to resume at the end of August, when the current pause is scheduled to lapse. According to new data reports, Americans owe a staggering $1.7 trillion in college debt, mostly federal loans. That's nearly half a trillion more than auto loans and double the amount of outstanding credit card debt in the United States. Many in the Democratic Party's progressive wing have called on President Biden to cancel student loan debt before November's midterm, a move they say could boost his approval ratings among young voters. Elizabeth Warren has noted that canceling student loan debt would close the wealth gap. She also stated, if, pre she's also stated if the President of the United States would cancel $50,000 of student loan debt, which he has the power to do, about 85% of the people who have student loan debt will see all of their debt wiped out. But Biden has questioned whether he has the power to cancel student debt through executive action. As it currently stands, the president has called on Congress to pass a bill for giving debt that he could sign. The waiting game could, avoid, could affect voter enthusiasm. So hopefully President Biden can do something about this. Increase the base funding schools received by $5 billion for the upcoming year and by $10 billion in 2024 through 2025. Nearly $5 billion will be, will be directed to universities and community colleges for deferred facilities maintenance and, exp and expansion of student housing. Another $1 billion will be earmarked for preschool programs, everybody. So, do you think that President Biden is doing all that it takes to send out the fourth stimulus check? And if you found this video useful, then tell me in the comments down below. SNAP monthly benefits, everybody, are going to be changing in a big way for millions of you guys. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer have actually agreed on a new timeline for the new social spending bill. You want to watch to the end of the video to find out how to receive the fourth stimulus check. Without further ado, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer met to discuss the possible legislation on reduced gasoline prices. Leaders are hoping to pass legislation dealing with gas prices before the end of May, but we actually need Republican cooperation in the Senate to do so. The GOP is pushing for expanded fossil fuel production domestically, something progressive Democrats may be unable to support and rising prices are a top concern for many voters, and many Democrats already face a tough road to holding on to control of the House and Senate in the November election.
the Federal Reserve's pressure preferred measure of inflation is estimated to have risen 6.7% in March from a year earlier. The average price for a gallon of regular gasoline is around $4.13. The American Rescue Plan has also provided an additional boosted program for elderly citizens who might need extra help with groceries and food each month. The Commodity Supplemental Food Program provides low-income elderly individuals with supplemental nutrition. As a share of GDP in more than two decades, is that right? Yes, sir. That's correct. Uh, and in fact, uh, they are projected to increase to 20% of GDP in 2022, which I believe is up about 17% from the previous forecast. That's right. The, the revenues will, will reach j just a slightly uh, under 20%, which is up very substantially from our, from, um, our, our previous projections. And, and we've seen approximately 8.3 million jobs created since President Biden first took office. Is that right? Um, uh, yes, uh, uh, employment has grown very, you know, very sharply as the U.S. has come out of the pandemic, um, uh, as you said, since the beginning of 2021. And is it your understanding that that 8.3 million uh, jobs that were created, that's a record uh, in American history for a similar point in time in terms of a president's new administration? Um, yeah, yes, that would be the, the most jobs created uh, in, in a single year. So that's, uh, you know, over the, the 2021, the first year of the uh, administration. Am I correct that the number of people relying on unemployment benefits has dropped to the lowest level uh, since 1970? Um, the, I'm sorry, the number of people collecting unemployment benefits, um, it, it's, it's dropped very, uh, very substantially. Um, I, I don't know offhand if it's the lowest, but I suspect it's, uh, it, it might well be. It's, um, you know, with the, the rebound um, and the, um, the, the very strong, very tight labor market, um, we, we've seen lots of uh, uh, good outcomes, like you just mentioned. And uh, last year, how many new businesses were created in the United States of America? Uh, there's uh, the the rebound from pandemic has led to a, a surge in business creation. Um, you know, obviously we saw businesses go out um, when the economy locked down, and then a, a huge number has have been created. I, I don't know the number of millions offhand, but it's been a um, it's just a historic uh, increase in business formation and entrepreneurship. As my understanding, that approximately 5.4 million new businesses were created. Uh, in the last year, as you indicated, a substantial uh, return of American entrepreneurship. Uh, in terms of deficit reduction, because my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, I thought were deficit hawks and cared about the deficit. That's all we heard about, certainly during the Tea Party years. Um, am I correct that in President Biden's first year, the deficit was reduced by more than $350 billion? Is that correct?